1972, the fluid mosaic membrane model of membrane structure was proposed based on thermodynamic principles of organization of membrane lipids and proteins and available evidence of asymmetry and lateral mobility within the membrane matrix. However, further works led to the major modification of this model. It suggests that the lipids and proteins are not distributed randomly but are sequestered in small domains known as lipid rafts. Lipid rafts are small and transient microdomains enriched in sphingolipids and sterols, together with specific proteins with important functions. Lipid rafts are involved in signal transduction pathways, cell trafficking, and host pathogen relationship. Lipid rafts generally contain three to five fold the amount of cholesterol found in the surrounding bilayer. Also, they are enriched in sphingolipids such as sphingomyelin. Rietveld and Simmons related lipid rafts in model membranes to the immiscibility of ordered and disordered liquid phases, known as L0 and LD, respectively. The cause of this immiscibility is uncertain, but the immiscibility is thought to minimize the free energy between the two phases. Studies have shown that there is a difference in thickness of the lipid rafts and the surrounding membrane, which results in hydrophobic mismatch at the boundary between the two phases. The size of the lipid raft is limited by the bilayer curvature and by the domain boundary at the interface between the domain and the surrounding bulk lipid. The interfacial energy at the domain edge, also known as line tension, is a key parameter determining the distribution of domain sizes. If line tension is small, entropy is greater and the domains are small. If line tension is large, it favors fusion into larger domains, reducing the length of the raft boundary and thereby reducing the boundary's energy. However, there is little evidence of how line tension affects membrane organization. By one early definition of lipid rafts, they differ from the rest of the plasma membrane. In fact, it has been hypothesized that the lipid rafts can be extracted from a plasma membrane. The extraction would take advantage of lipid raft's resistance to non-ionic detergents, such as Triton X100 or Brie 98 when used at low temperatures. When such a detergent is added to cells, the fluid membrane will dissolve while the lipid rafts may remain intact and could be extracted. Because of their composition and detergent resistance, lipid rafts are also called detergent insoluble glycolipid enriched complexes, or DIGs. They are also known as detergent resistant membranes, or DRMs. However, the validity of the detergent resistant methodology of membranes has recently been called into question due to ambiguities in the lipids and proteins recovered in the observation they can also cause solid areas to form where they were not there previously.